Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight, and today we're going to be having a look at Royal Craft Steam Engines. Now, these are fairly recent additions to uh, to Royal Craft, and they're basically there in case you don't have a build craft. But they are very interesting engines in their own right, and they're certainly extremely useful. And there's something that you probably want to take a look at if you haven't already. And that's because some of these engine outputs can be quite high. Now, to start off with, um, each one of them has a slightly different set of requirements. Uh, well, the hobbyist engine on the left here, uh, this one will take its own water and you can put your own uh, fuel in there as well so it's basically got an internal boiler these other two here they don't have an internal boiler all they have is reservoirs for the steam now because of this uh, you can use them in slightly different ways now you can also pump steam directly into this one but for the most part you'll use it standalone and as a very early build craft engine um, now the maximum output using the internal boiler for the hobbyist steam engine is 1.6 minecraft joules a tick. Uh, it will output up to 2 uh, if you use external steam. And this one here, the commercial steam engine which is the next one up, this one will output 4 and it will show you how much it's outputting as well. And industrial steam engine the last one this will produce eight so there you go there's the um, the outputs of those three engines now the recipes for them um, we have for the hobbyist engine we have three gold nuggets glass piston and gold plated gears now your gold plated gears it's a stone gear with four nuggets around it so it's a bit different to the gold gears from Buildcraft, so it's important to bear that in mind. I mean, they look different for starters, but the recipe is quite a bit cheaper. The commercial engine here, we've got the standard Buildcraft iron gears, uh, piss and glass, and then iron plates along the top. And then we have uh, steel gears here to go with your industrial steam engine which is the big one and this has got steel plates, steel gears steel gears, stone gear with steel around it and this is the engine that will output 8 minecraft joules a tick so if we uh, see what we've got over here we have uh, this uh, hobby steam engine Let's actually I should have figured out where to power this we should really come up with something that will uh, just take a load of power for us um, I don't know if the carpenter is going to gonna take a load maybe it will maybe it won't um, just so we can see the output there you go so that's going to climb that should climb to 1.6 and kind of stop there oh it's going all the way up to 2 so that's because it's really quite hot at the moment um, and we've got plenty of water so that's the maximum output so we'll actually get up to two whether it will do that uh, while it's running I, I'm not sure it'll probably start dropping possibly start dropping um, and also the thing to note is if this ever runs out of water you need to let it cool down before you put water back in otherwise it's going to um, explode now it's also got a bit of a an energy storage area here as well so that's obviously storing energy up because this isn't doing anything so that's uh, that's interesting to know that it's actually increasing its energy storage and the animation has stopped but as you can see that's changing colour as well because of how much energy it's got stored in it. Now the next one along, the commercial steam engine, uh, once again don't really have anything for its power but 
I'm just running this off a, a little 2x2 two two steam boiler. Um, we can pump this out in standard waterproof build craft pipes and as we can see there we don't actually have any steam showing up in this engine just yet and that's because it needs to go into the back as there it should go into the back of there for some reason it's not uh, maybe we just need to give it some power and then it will start working there we go once it's got some steam in there obviously the engine needs to have a redstone signal before it'll even accept the steam and um, we can see the output this should climb to uh, to four minecraft joules a tick as the output now this one is still climbing I'm assuming when it gets to the top it's going to possibly have a danger of explosion so there we go this has got internal storage as well which is quite interesting to know I wasn't aware these uh, engines had that uh, let's turn this guy around this one has got a large output as well this is 8 MJ a tick this one has now got up to its 4 now these gold pipes will move 40 steam a tick as opposed to the stone waterproof pipes which will move 10 so you may well want to use the gold pipes if you're uh, using industrial steam engines just to keep up with the amount of steam that's required or if you're going to string a load of these together you may want to uh, make sure you've got the higher capacity pipes and this is up to 8 Minecraft joules a tick as well and we we'll probably get into the limits of that small boiler there with that so that is your railcraft steam engine guys and as you can imagine you can have quite a lot of buildcraft energy produced in quite a small area using uh, using these industrial steam engines because that is quite a decent output and you can do that with coal, charcoal, coal coke um, as you can see the large boiler does use up the uh, the coal coke uh, quite a bit quicker um, this now is getting up to probably dangerous levels probably want to stand a little bit away from that while I uh, while I close off and thank you guys for watching I hope uh, you'll let me know if I've made any mistakes with any of these engines they are fairly new and I am bound to make mistakes so please correct me if you need to and let me know if you've got any other questions that I haven't covered uh, also please follow me on Twitch and on Twitter and I will see you next time so thanks for watching oh and just to uh, to add that just got up to full capacity uh, off camera and it blew a nice little hole in the ground when it when it did that so uh, yeah don't let them fill up because they will blow up <laughs>